Dean Blevins, CBS Oklahoma City. Um, guys, when you look back on the series and um, things that frustrated you, is there a certain sequence or a time in any of these games, or do you think it will be the, the loss in game six there where you had a chance to close them out at home that will, that will hurt the most? Uh, you know, it hurts losing. It hurts losing, especially being up three games to one. Um, but, you know, games uh, three and four, you know, they missed the shots that they hit game, game six and seven. And, uh, you know, that was our plan. I mean, they, they, they started, they beat us from the three-point line the last two games. We beat them everywhere else. They beat us from the three-point line. That was, that was, the, that was a series. So, um, you know, we, we fought, everybody fought hard every single minute they were on the court. It sucks to lose. It, it sucks. But, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was tough. It was a tough series. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma and Kevin. I saw a minute or so after the game, I saw you went and got D on and you sort of grabbed him and talked to him for a little bit. Can you share with just the general message of what you were telling D on? I was just proud of him, proud of him, proud of all the guys, you know, win or lose, you know, proud of everybody for the effort they put in, you know, the, the, the things you guys don't see every day, which is coming in, uh, you know, the hard work they put in, the sacrifice they make for everybody in the organization. Just proud, just proud, man. It's, it's a journey, man. And, you know, a lot of people just see the basketball games, but they don't see everything else um, behind the scenes. And that's, and I'm proud of the guys for, you know, staying together and, um, you know, continuing to get better by day, day by day, you know, throughout the whole season. So, you know, that's, that was kind of the gist of it. Anthony Slater with Oklahoma. And Kevin, uh, you know, the loss is still fresh, but you have kind of have an unknown future coming over the next month. How do you kind of expect that to play out and, and when you'll start thinking about it? I mean, it's, we just lost like 30 minutes ago, so um, I haven't even thought about it. I'm, I'm just, you know, embracing my teammates, you know, and just reflecting on the season. You know, I think about that stuff, you know, I don't know when, but we just lost an hour ago, 30 minutes ago, so I don't know. Uh, Chris Reyna from Real GM. Uh, Coach Donovan talks about the improvement made by some of your role players, Adams, Roberson. Um, are you guys encouraged moving forward with how they've come along and in, in assisting you guys in getting to the next level? Um, very proud. Uh, like Kevin said, those guys, man, put in work every single day, um, coming in early, standing in late, watching film, um, improving their games uh, throughout the season. And, um, you know, you can't do nothing but be proud of those guys and, uh, you know, look forward to him coming back next year and being better. Myron Patton, Fox, Oklahoma City. Uh, you talked a little bit about Dion. I know he and Ennis, two of your most inexperienced playoff guys, really took the loss hard. How much do you think this will help them going forward? I mean, I think it's a learning process. Um, you know, just like myself and, and Kevin back in 2012, we lost in the, in the finals, and we we know what that fe that feeling felt like. And I think uh, for those guys, uh, first experience, especially in the hostile building um, on the road, and had opportunity to kind of get to this point. Um, they had opportunity to know what that feels like, and uh, you know, should do nothing but make those guys better. Royce Young, ESPN.com. Kevin, think back to February, all the stuff you guys were going through with Monty and Aubrey and losing 8 out of 12. And then to get to this point now, do you, is it too fresh to look back on it and feel like you guys still accomplished something pretty special? Uh, you know, for us, it was, you know, we wanted to win the, we wanted to win the whole thing. You know, and I, I think, you know, there's no moral victories in our locker room after the game. We were all upset. You know, we, we wanted to get a chance to play for a, a championship in the finals, you know, so that hurts. But when you sit down and look back at what happened throughout the season, you can be proud at, of not just the players, but everybody in the organization from the top to the bottom, people that you guys don't even know or ever see um, contribute to what we bring out on that court. And that's just pride. That's just effort, um, passion, love for the game, pure love for the game every single night. And that comes from just walking into our, our practice facility every single day and feeling that those vibes and feeling those that energy uh, from everyone. And I'm just proud that with all we've been through this season, you know, we, we stuck together and we, we sacrificed for each other. And, you know, that's just that, that's what makes this game so special. Nick Gallo, KCThunder.com. Kevin, you'd scored seven straight to cut it to four. You guys had strung some stops in a row. Yeah. Did it feel like that one loose ball, if you'd gotten that one, you, you could have turned the tide of this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I thought, you know, when uh, we fouled on the three-point shot, I think that was that was a dagger for us, and uh, that kind of hurt us. You know, we had some momentum going down. I thought, we, we, you know, we had five seconds on the shot clock. 
I thought we'd got to stop in the rebound, and I was feeling good. Coach was coming back to me. Russell was coming back to me. I felt good. So, but, hey, but it could have a lot of what ifs. You know, as we could have we could have said a lot of what ifs throughout this whole playoff. So, yeah, I give credit to them. They came out and uh, they played well the last you know uh, in the last three games of the series and won three in a row. So, you know, you gotta give them credit. Kevin, Nick mentioned that 7-0 run. I mean, was that just kind of you trying to empty the clip late, you know, taking a lot of shots? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen openings, and, you know, they do a good job of loading up and making me see bodies. So I was seeing a, just a crack and a crease, and I just try to be aggressive. And um, like you said, I can't leave any, I can't leave anything in the clip, you know. You know, I got no, uh, this was the, you know, last game. I had to let it all fly. So, you know, I, I like the way we came out. We played tough and hard all night. Barry Trammell, the Oklahoma and Russell, you guys played really good offense for three quarters, but the third quarter you didn't get much. What happened in that third quarter where the offense stagnated? Um, I didn't think it stagnated. I just think we missed open shots. Um, you know, we got the the same shots in the first half, moved the basketball, got in the paint, kicked out, some open threes that we missed. Um, but I thought we uh, did a good job taking care of the basketball. Um, I thought it was fine. Brian Brinkley, KFOR TV. Kevin. Uh, Steve Kerr said he thought you guys really improved drastically in the uh, postseason and the playoffs. Do you think you took significant steps forward here over the last month and a half? Oh, uh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, you know, we uh, weren't supposed to be in this position. You know, we uh, beat, you know, we've, we faced two great teams. You know, I think in the San Antonio series, we really show who we are and in this series. And, you know, we, we show we can play different ways. We went, we went big against San Antonio, and we did, we did a great job of going small in this series. Um, so, you know, that shows that we're a versatile team and we got better. I think, you know, when we were losing 8 out of 12, you know, we wouldn't, you know, we were getting criticized for not being where other teams were, but I thought we peaked at the right time and made uh, and got better at the right time. But unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't come out on top, um, you know, and that's something that, uh, you know, all the guys are upset about. But we laid it all out there. Everybody left their soul out on the court and, uh, you know, we, we have no regrets. Tim McMahon, ESPN.com. Russ, at one point in the third quarter, you and Steph had a pretty animated conversation with the ref getting in between. What was that about? Uh, I didn't have no conversation with him. I was talking to the ref. Anyone else? No. We'll go one more. Scott Osler. Oh. No, no, okay. Scott Osler, San Francisco Carnival. <clears throat> Russell, Curry didn't have a... You know, he had a kind of up and down series. The second half of the night, he kind of got it going. Did he? Sh what did he show you in that second half that you hadn't really fully seen the rest um, of the series? I mean, he scored a lot on our bigs. Uh, 